Do you kids like Tang? he asked. The other two kids nodded grimly. I love Tang, I gushed. Only, I like to make it with an extra scoop. Plus, you can put it in ice cube trays and then freeze it. That's really good. Where had that come from? I'd never in my life frozen Tang. That's great, said the man with the blue eyes, who was going to take me away to live with him in a penthouse apartment. All of the men exchanged a look. Then my man said, Thanks a lot, kids. Disgusting Evan and retarded Ellen immediately pushed their chairs back from the table and fled. But I was crushed, stunned, so I moved in slow motion, carefully rising from my chair. They might as well run me over with their white tang van now, I thought. Uh, no, not you. What's your name? Augustine, I said. Yes, you, Augustine. You were great. We want you. It was the man with the blue eyes speaking, and now I had my confirmation. He adores me, too. Instantly, my mood reversed, and I began to grind my teeth in joy. I can now trace my manic adult tendencies to this moment. It was the first time I felt deeply thrilled about something just a fraction of an instant after being completely crushed. I believe those three words, we want you, were enough to cause my brain to rewire itself, and from then on, I would require more than other people. At the same time, my tolerance for alcohol was instantly increased, and a new neural pathway was created for the future appreciation of crack cocaine and prescription painkillers. You want me? I said, containing my enthusiasm so completely that I probably appeared disinterested. Yes. Don't you want to be in the commercial? Well, yeah, a lot. I tried to imitate an excited boy. I was excited, but somehow unable to express the actual emotion of excitement. My electrical system was all off now. Good, he said, clapping his hands. Then he slid a stack of papers across the table. Then you need to take these home and have your parents read them over very carefully. We're going to be back on Monday.